Hey guys, welcome to Flight Advance. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install uh, a program uh, named uh, Bean Overlay. Uh, that uh, software is uh, useful when, when you fly online uh, on Twitch or YouTube. So um, that program um, will be um, useful for your followers to uh, see what, what you do on, on uh, where you're flying, like uh, uh, to find uh, where you are, uh, direction, heading, uh, vertical speed. Uh, you have also, uh, if you land, you can show you uh, the landing. Uh, so it's, it's a good program and uh, it's very easy to use also. So if you stream with uh, OBS, uh, with YouTube or Twitch, I think it's a good program to use. So uh, first of all, may, for sure you need to uh, install the Bean Overlay. Uh, to install it, you need to go to the uh, internet on Google. You can uh, uh, search for Bean Overlay here. And after that, look at that, don't like that here, Bean Overlay. Uh, you can click on the first link here, GitHub. You click on Clone or Download. You have two choices. You can uh, download a zip file or uh, directly to your desktop. After that, you're going to extract your anywhere on your hard drive. Uh, in my case, I select my D drive, so I extract here, bean overlay, and uh, you're gonna use, by the way, the uh, HTML folders uh, later on the video. Uh, so after that, um, when you open uh, bean overlay, here, that's the execute, you're gonna see that. So uh, first of all, you have the flight section here. So here's the departure. And your arrival uh, airport. Just for the test here, I uh, put uh, uh, Charlie and Key November Delta and Charlie and Key Hotel Uniform. Uh, that's the Gatineau Airport in Quebec and uh, Saint Hubert Airport in Quebec. Uh, it's a route, but it's not the real route because you see it's on gray, it's not black. So if I click on it here and I put two, two letters here so you can see the DDD. Here it's my uh, airline, uh, virtual airline. So in my case, I'm flying with uh, Canyon Express. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, by the way, it's canyonexpress.ca. Uh, uh, also, that's my uh, uh, my call sign. So it's a Charlie X-ray Alpha and my uh, flight number 127. So any call sign uh, with a template I'm gonna show you today. Uh, it's very uh, important that you're gonna, you're gonna insert the letters of your airline and also uh, your call sign numbers. So me, Charlie X3 Alpha, 127. If you are flying on the VATSIMS, you're gonna write VATSIMS air, or you're gonna insert uh, IVO or a pallet edge, it's up to you. Uh, if you, uh, you, when you fly, you can select also the cruise altitude. So if you wanna make a flight at 5,000 uh, feet, so you're gonna put 5,000 feet. After that, here on general, uh, I don't use uh, a lot, I don't test a lot, sorry about that. But I know here you can select the primary color, secondary, uh, you can enable, disable the icon. Uh, also on the, the call sign here, uh, you can show your call sign online on your, uh, when you stream or not, show your airline. Uh, I'm going to show you an example here. So if I'm uh, open my OBS here, I'm going to select my YouTube stream. So you're going to see only my uh, template. So uh, at your left here at the top, you, you see my uh, network. So currently, as before you see, I'm on VATSIMS. So that's VATSIMS. After that, you have the ground speed, you have the direction heading. And if you see the number change, because currently I'm connected with my uh, other computer, so I'm live right now. So uh, the wind is 124, 34, 35 uh, degrees. Uh, also here, that's the heading and the tracking. Uh, currently uh, we are at 178. The altitude, okay, your vertical speed, and uh, the weather. So it's 25 degrees currently right now at Gatineau. Uh, also uh, at the bottom here, uh, you, you can follow uh, the, the flight, so uh, you can see the departure and the arrow. 
and also uh, the estimation time, direct track, uh, and also I put the uh, FPS in the middle here at the bottom, so you can see uh, how many FPS you have online. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. Uh, yeah, I'm going. I'm going to show you the example I'm talking about about the call sign. So you can see in the middle here at the top, you can see my uh, CXA one two seven. Okay, so if I would like to uh, uh, remove it, so I'm going to go again on my uh, clean overlay. I disable the call sign. Go back here, and you can see here. There's no more call sign. So it's very, very easy. So I'm gonna put it back. Uh, call sign, there. see, now you can see call sign is back. So uh, that's the way you have to do. Uh, now I'm gonna show you how to uh, insert the, uh, a source. Uh, first of all, you need to create a new scenes. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna use the same one I'm, I'm showing you today. So it will be the stream PC. Uh, my source, I put the desktop. Uh, I don't explain how to use uh, with how to configure UBS. I think if you already stream, you will know how to do it. So after that, you're gonna select, uh, you're gonna click on the plus and you're gonna select browser. On the browser, you're gonna add a new one. So just here, I'm gonna put this. Make sure uh, you put a check here on make source visible. Okay, so now this that's my new window here. That's my new source. Uh, after that, uh, you're gonna click on local file, and you're gonna select also shut down source when not visible. Here you can uh, select the size you like to have your window, your FPS, okay? And after that, you're gonna click on browse. Now it will open directly from my, my last, uh, the last place I, I open my uh, my uh, my HTML. So um, on the Bean Overlay folder, when you're gonna download and install it, you can uh, select HTML. And on HTML, you have two choice. If you like to have, if you have your own template right now with your uh, your streaming, uh, you can select one by one. Okay, you can use one by one every time. Or you can select uh, directly the widget. So if I had only the widget, I double click on it. I select the line. Sorry. I'm going to click on copy. That's very important. You uncheck local file. You select again usbproject.com and you paste over it. And after that, you click OK. So now you will you see, I have a widget. So I have my call sign, I have bad sims, I have my speed, uh, I have uh, my uh, heading. So everything is there. But if you like to use by on your own template, uh, you're gonna I'm gonna remove it that one. You're gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna plus browser. Like again, this I'm gonna put speed. No, no, I have already speak. I cannot select that one. So I'm gonna click this. I click OK. Same thing, local file, browse, speed, open, select, copy, uncheck local file, over USB project, paste, don't forget to select shutdown. And you click OK. So now you can see I have my speed widget available. So you can resize it as you want. You can put left or right, up and down. So it's very easy. So you do that for every uh, widget you like to add. So um, I hope it was useful for you. Uh, Aoi, by the way, uh, if you like to connect with Explain, uh, it's compatible with Xplane 3 3 d uh, Flight Simulator X. Uh, and if you would like to uh, connect with Xplane, you have to uh, download uh, XP, XPUIPC. Uh, it's compatible with both 10 and 11. And uh, if you click that link, is is currently down. So 
I don't know when it's gonna go back, but I checked uh, earlier, it was down. See? Uh, yeah, my computer is in Mac and still disponible, but uh, in English it's uh, back soon. So, um, or you can download if you use uh, FSX or P3D, uh, FSIUIPC uh, by Mr. Peter Dawson. And by the way, it's a very, very good uh, software to use with FSX or P3D, not only for uh, that uh, program, but could be uh, very useful with the yoke. You can configure the yoke with more precision about your yoke. Uh, the wind, the condition of about the weather. Uh, it's a must to have uh, if you are flying with P3D or FSX. I know you can buy a license, that's what I did, but you can also have for free uh, if you like to try it. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think it's done. So uh, if you like to, uh, if you like my video, just uh, put thumbs up. If you don't like, uh, thumbs down. <laughs> and also if you're not already a subscriber, don't be shy to click on it. Uh, thank you very much, by the way, because we reached the 100 uh, subscribers uh, this month, and I hope uh, I'm going to reach the, maybe 150 or 200 uh, uh, before October. So uh, thanks again, and uh, have a good flight, guys. Bye.